The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Well, this is it. No grander occasion in football, and what a perfect venue befitting the unique circumstances. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box to enjoy the spectacle is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the World Cup final. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. So we can check on the lineup today. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe starts with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And so the match is underway. Dembele. Now this could be productive. And it might be. What a block! There to win it back. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Goal. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Number seven, Antoine Griezmann. Jimenez. Good use of advantage by the referee. He continues his run. Suarez. And a good take under duress there. Bentancourt. Jimenez. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Luis Suarez. Facundo Pelistri. Options in the center. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And France exploiting the space on the flank. He's 
trying to create something. Well, it might still work out for them. Oh, what's he gone and done? And that is how to block. This attack looks highly promising. Can he finish? Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. And intercepted it. Griezmann. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Valverde. Opportunity in the wide area. This could level it. And Varan foiling them. Losing possession a bit easily. A chance to whip it in. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Radio Dembele on the ball. Kunde. Dembele. And showing excellent vision. Giro. Opportunity. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Favoring the short one. Oh, a fine block. Rabio, what an important piece of defending. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Thumps clear. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Varela. Here's Valverde. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. It'll be a corner. Who can he pick out? Well, not the best clearance. Understandably, the referee feels compelled to stop play here, given the injury situation. So following the stoppage, back underway with a drop ball. Accepting it intelligently. Dembele. Dembele. Excellent vision. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Played in by Griezmann. counter chance looks very real they need to get bodies back foul there free kick awarded well, the referee letting him know any more like that and he will go into the book Stuart yeah he knows he can't commit another foul now well very effective play in possession 
Suarez. On to Bentancourt. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway. And it might be. And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Can he play it in? Struggling to get it away. Another classic example. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. And possibilities here. Could be. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Well, here we can see it again. Incredibly close, but the correct decision. No goal. He's driven in the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Real chance. Oh, the equaliser. Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area. Just poor defending all round. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Rabio, Aurelien Chouameni. They've regained possession. Valverde. And the pass weighted by Suarez. Oh, it's a goal! A celebratory moment as they jump in front. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Perfect challenge. A run to Rome on the wing. Suarez. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Coman's pass needed to be better. Jimenez. Beautifully disguised ball. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Coman. Coman. Well, this could be productive. He got in the way of that cross. 
No nonsense clearance. And the pass could do damage. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Oliveira. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? 20 minutes remaining. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Oliveira. And he has options available. Can he take advantage? Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Coman. An effective challenge. Oh, good vision. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if Suarez missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he really is. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Number nine, Luis Suarez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Luis Suarez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Ten minutes to go. Nicely cut out. That's excellent defending following the cross. Giorgian de Arascaeta. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it fizzled out. Pavard. Well, five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over already. A foul, but advantage played. Can he finish this? Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. Varela. Here's Valverde and teammates around him. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Aurelien Chouameni. saw the situation developing and that's a well-timed pass Suarez well the supporters think it's on oh there it is it's one goal after another and it speaks to the quality of that performance
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And Suarez's movement and penalty box awareness makes this finish look easy. That's a nice goal. Oh. And the referee blows for full time. They've only gone and won the World Cup. And what a performance, not just today, but throughout the tournament. They've been absolutely brilliant. Hats off to them. The world champions. It's music to their ears and music to the ears of their fans. And this is what you dream about as a young player. And these players are now World Cup winners. It's absolutely magnificent for them.